Yo, what's up YouTube, it's your boy Remski with a brand new video today talking about overclocking your controller. I've known about this for a couple of months, maybe you've known about it for ever, maybe you don't know about it, but I can guarantee your favourite pros that you watch on YouTube and Twitch have been doing this since the dawn of time. In a nutshell, all it is is taking your controller's response time from 5 milliseconds down to 1 millisecond. Unfortunately, FPS games today are pay to win. With all the sweats and tryhards, you literally cannot come home from a long hard day at work and play a few chilled games of TDM with your peoples online. It's literally become all about having that competitive edge. So you really have two choices. Either you do continue to try and enjoy chilled games of TDM whilst you've got little Jimmy who's trying to turn pro, absolutely sweating his ass off, making you feel and look like an absolute or you can join them, or at least try to do something to join them. Console especially are already on the back foot versus PC gamers and that's just common knowledge. Their graphics cards give them an edge as well. Their controllers, which can be used on uh, console, don't get me wrong. However, overclocking, no, nah, that's a PC thing. So if PC already had the edge, they are getting even more an edge here as well. Here's how they do it. So here's what you're gonna do. You are going to click on the link in the description below that I'm gonna leave for you guys for github.com. It's gonna bring you to this page. You're gonna scroll down to the third one, hidusbf.zip. There's a description for it here. Uh, this, dri this driver uh, program is intended to overclock USB mice or other devices under Windows. 98, 98SE, 98 ME, 2000 XP, 2003, Vista 7, 8, 8.1, 10, 11, including Times 64 versions. Yes, that is exactly what we want. So, here, bf.zip. Click that. Scroll over to download. Download appears here. Click on that. Click on single click on driver, extract all. Um, I want it to go to my downloads folder, so that's fine there. Extract. Double click driver here. Scroll down to setup. Double click that. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Yes. Then you'll see this page. You'll click on mice. Scroll down to all. Find your controller. You'll click install service. Hit open. Make sure you're still hovering over your your controller. Um, drop down, hit a thousand for the rate of a thousand. There, uh, you change the interval from your milliseconds down to one. So I've changed mine from mine was at four milliseconds uh, response time down to one. So then, yep, yeah, you, like I said, you hit a thousand, and then you install the service, open, filter on device. Click all, scroll down to the HD, HID USBF, and it should be here. If it doesn't change yet, which it might not, simply unplug your controller, plug it back in. Then once you come back to here, once it finds it again on this application, then that should have gone down from uh, four or five milliseconds response time down to one, and you've done it. You've overclocked your controller and I'm hoping I'm going to see some difference. I personally haven't tried this yet. I literally heard about it not too long ago and I am really interested to know what it feels like going into a gunfight against somebody who hasn't overclocked their controller and I am potentially four or five seconds, four or five milliseconds faster than them. The thing is, it doesn't seem like that long a time, but you know when you're in those gunfights one on one and you think to yourself, I was so close to winning that gunfight, whether it's COD, uh, Halo, whatever shooter you're playing. There's so many times where I felt I should have won a gunfight. And this could be the answer to that. I don't know if it is. It, prob it might not be. I don't know. But I'm about to find out. I'm going to hit Rebirth Island shortly and I'm going to find out. Another hot take on this is whether it's actually seen as cheating. Um, obviously, you have the real bait cheats like blatant hacking walls uh your chronos zen for your for your recoil patterns and all of that like people do that kind of stuff 
but this is i wouldn't say this is cheating if i was to put it in like into a bodybuilding context which is where i'm more comfortable um you obviously have your anabolic steroids would be the absolute max that would be your your cronus then that would be your your wall hacks and whatnot this would be in comparison to supplements i'd i'd call this more of like a creatine take like you take it you already well you it, it's hard to actually like line it up but you know what i mean it's so minor that you know it's just giving yourself that extra edge that other people on pc can also do um but it's common knowledge apparently i mean i found out a couple of months ago i still hadn't done it until this video today you can see the time in the bottom right of my screen i'm making this video right now pretty much i'm about to post it two what an hour after i've made this video i already tweeted a poll asking who knows about overclocking their controllers and do people do it and the majority of the votes are people asking what the hell even is overclocking your controller which is why i've decided to drop this video today um like i said it is already out there it is common knowledge to a lot of serious uh, fps gamers but if the people who follow me on twitter don't know about it then maybe i can help them so yeah if you did find this video useful please drop a like and subscribe and also to find your way back i would love if you guys dropped a comment down below to let me know if it actually worked for you um i'm about to try it out now rebirth island is a great place to start a lot of high intense gunfights and one-on-ones and stuff like that so if this is i can't think of a better place to to try and find out if overclocking my controller has actually worked quick disclaimer there are no viruses however if you do manage to download the incorrect thing to your controller from that website it is very easy to do like a factory reset on your controller from your pc settings so going forward when i lose a gunfight now i'm not going to be wondering do they have better rgb on their pcs do they have a better gaming chair do they have nano leafs behind their monitors nah they overclock their controller until next time peace